how to install TubeBuddy on YouTube in 2020. Whenever someone new starts a YouTube channel, the first advice I like to give them is go and install TubeBuddy because TubeBuddy is the best tool to help you start getting views on your new YouTube channel. We've used TubeBuddy to get over 700,000 views on this channel. We've also used TubeBuddy to start a brand new channel and get over 100,000 views in the first month of launching the brand new channel. So if you're interested in getting more views on your YouTube channel, then watch this video all the way to the end so that you can learn how to install TubeBuddy on your computer and use this tool to get more views on your videos. To get started, click the link down in the description below. This is gonna take you over to YouTube and we're gonna jump onto the computer and I'm gonna show you exactly how to install TubeBuddy. Once we arrive at TubeBuddy, I want you to head to the top right and click on sign in. And then all you need to do is sign in with the Google or Gmail account that you use for your YouTube channel. So click on the blue button and then select the YouTube channel that you want to add TubeBuddy to. And then you will be signed into your new TubeBuddy account. When you arrive on the home page, you will have a starter license, which is the free license on YouTube. I currently have a legend license. It just gives you a few additional features, gives you the health report, the competitor scorecard, search ranking tracking, A-B testing, which is massive. It gives you backup and exports, and it gives you a retention analyzer, which helps a lot once you are building a YouTube channel and building your audience. If you're interested in upgrading, then you can, but when you're first starting out on YouTube, the free starter license will be more than enough. Once you've signed up for a new account, so head over to the Chrome Web Store, you can just type in Chrome Web Store into Google search and pull it up, and we're going to search for the TubeBuddy plugin. You can search for TubeBuddy for YouTube, and this is the plugin that we're looking for. It's from TubeBuddy. Just check that it is offered from TubeBuddy.com and click on the blue Add to Chrome button and click Add Extension. What this extension is gonna do, it's gonna activate a plugin on your YouTube channel and give you additional features to access within YouTube. So once it is added, you will see this button change from add to remove from Chrome. So it is installed and we can refresh our YouTube homepage and you'll see that TubeBuddy extension has popped up and a sign in is required. So click on it and we're going to sign in with the new TubeBuddy account that we have just created. So select that Gmail account that we've used. Then it's going to ask you which channel you want to add if you have multiple channels on that email and click the blue allow button to give TubeBuddy access to make these changes. Once you've allowed TubeBuddy access, you'll see you'll get a green tick that says successfully signed in. Now we can access all the amazing features that you get within TubeBuddy. Now if you head over to milestones, this is really cool. It'll show you your milestones as you get them. So you get a subscriber milestone, a milestone for your views and a milestone for your uploads. So it's really cool to track these. And then if you want to share your milestones with friends, you can download your certificate and share that on social media, which is a lot of fun to see as your YouTube channel grows. Then we're gonna head back to the tools and I wanna show you quickly the Keyword Explorer. This is a great tool and it'll help you use TubeBuddy to get more views on your YouTube channel when you are first starting out. Now that you've got TubeBuddy installed on your computer, let me show you a few tips and tricks to get you started. So let's go through a quick example that I used when I was first building my channel. I wanted to create a video on custom thumbnails. So I wanted to target the keyword custom thumbnails. Now the keyword custom thumbnails is a really, really competitive keyword. And you can see here under the score analysis and the competition, you can see that the competition is poor, which means the competition is way too high for this specific keyword. If you're a big, well-established channel, then you can go for these higher, bigger, keywords that have a lot more competition because the search volume is really high. 
but when you're first starting out you need to find keywords that have a lower competition in order for you to rank for that specific keyword if you can rank for those keywords it's going to allow you to get more views and grow your youtube channel and build up trust with youtube so the really cool thing about this keyword explorer tool is that it gives you suggestions for longer tail keywords so there's custom thumbnails on youtube if we click on that then we can explore that keyword you'll see the keyword will update at the top and the competition and search volume will update now if you go to custom thumbnails on youtube 2020 let's see if we can improve our score now look at that we've got a very good score 79 out of 100 and our competition has come down and our search volume has improved so there are a lot of people searching for custom thumbnails on youtube in 2020 what we ideally are looking for is a competition inside the green once we get it inside the green we know we have a good keyword to target for a new youtube channel if we go to how to make custom thumbnails on youtube let's have a look at that because these are a lot of common video tags that people are using you'll see the competition has gone up and the keyword score has come down but let's have a look at the related now how to make custom thumbnails on youtube without being verified we don't really want to explore that but let's get some more ideas here how to make custom thumbnails on youtube on your phone it looks like a good term and it's very specific a lot of people are going mobile now the competitions come down a bit but we haven't got into that ideal range now we spent a lot of time researching how to get that keyword score down and this is what we finally came up with how to enable custom thumbnails on youtube in 2020 let's see what kind of keyword score we're going to get for a long tail keyword that is very specific and very focused so we got an excellent score 84 out of 100 see how the competition has gone into that green and we still have pretty good search volume search volume not very high but it's still very good this is the ideal strength keyword that you want when you're first starting out on youtube so make sure that you do install tubebuddy activate the chrome extension and you can start doing keyword research so that you can get more views on your youtube channel if you have any questions or queries about using youtube please let us know in the comment section down below and we'll be happy to help you out thanks so much for watching this video on how to install tubebuddy if you liked it hit that like button and subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos on how to start and grow your very own youtube channel thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video